Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanase here. So have you ever banged your head on the table running Google ads just wondering why are you not getting the results that you want? If everybody is saying it's so easy and doable with Google ads compared to other advertising platforms, where are your sales and that too? profitable sales. Well, let me tell you, you are not alone. There's a lot of drop shippers or just e-com store owners who fail to find any kind of success with Google ads time after time again, regardless of what YouTuber they follow. Maybe you have watched my videos, you've tried implementing those things to no avail, or maybe you have betrayed me and watched somebody else's YouTube videos on Google ads. Just kidding, by the way, but you still find no good results or no profitable results with Google. Here is exactly how you can go about fixing it and finding the profitable results that you want. Now, I've only come with these few things after doing tons of research, tons of money and tons of experience myself because I've been running Google ads for so long. So don't make the same mistakes that I've made in the past because I've spent over six figures just testing different stuff out, just trying to figure out exactly what makes Google ads work. But let's just get right into it. First thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with Google Ads, however, is to destroy that like button down below until it turns blue and subscribe if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. Okay, hopefully you have done that. But exactly why you aren't getting sales with Google Ads, the real truth that you need to hear. Now, we're going to start off with the back end because one thing a lot of people fail to realize is that your sales really don't come from Google Ads or the campaigns that you run. They are actually established and even determined based on your back end. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Well, the back end with Google Ads is literally one of the most important things because if you have even one small thing off or improperly configured with your back end, that could be the entire reason why you don't get sales or results with Google Ads. One of the most common issues I've seen time and time again that becomes the main reason why people don't find success with Google is conversion tracking issues, believe it or not. People don't have their tags configured correctly. It's not firing. The Google Tag Manager shows all these kinds of red errors all over the screen. That is a very bad sign because you want to understand, unlike Facebook, Google Ads is a database platform. It needs data to work properly because you are not forcing your ad in front of anybody. Everybody has to literally search for the product you're selling to even see your ad. So that becomes 10 times more important for you to have your tags configured correctly. This is one of the most common issues I've seen and people just wonder why they're not getting sales. Well, the reason is because Google doesn't know who the hell your customer really is, what their demographics is, what kind of pages they like or what they should even be showing your products to. As a result, you get shown for all these bad keywords, all these irrelevant search terms, and you just end up wasting a lot of money. You don't get the result that you want. So make sure, number one, that your tags are properly configured. But what if your tags are properly configured and you're still not getting results? What is the main issue then in that case? The next most important issue is actually on the checkout side. So you want to make sure that you go on your website from start to finish, add a product to cart, go to the cart page, go to the checkout page and actually try to buy something. Create a coupon code that gives you 99% off and actually try to buy something and see if it's working. A lot of the times what happens is that people enter their credit card info and for some reason, maybe your Stripe account is not set up properly. Maybe your PayPal is not accepting payments. The payments just get denied or declined and they do not go through. This is another common reason why you don't get results with Google Ads because you won't really know this on the Google Ads side. Google Ads won't tell you that there's an issue with checkout. So you need to manually go in and check that out yourself. But one issue that is available on the Google ad side that you can actually see and configure are the GMC issues. So the Google Merchant Center issues, some of those issues could be the products not getting approved. Maybe you're selling some products which go against Google's policies. So they're ending up disapproved or maybe all of your products are branded products and every single one of them require GTINs. So if that is the case, then of course you're going to have limited performance or barely any performance at all in that case. But if you have too many errors on your major products, meaning the products on your website, which have the largest search term volume, then that could also be the reason why your ads are not shown and why you're not getting the sales that you would like. So you really want to make sure that you check the GMC to make sure that there are no kinds of issues going on on the back end. 
but coming now to the website side you want to make sure your website is properly configured if you have a very bad layout if your website load speed is very very slow and by slow i mean anything above three seconds if your product page is funky and has all of these different timers stress badges your description has too much images and the proportion of text words to the images is not equivalent then you're going to have a lot of issues you're not going to find the results that you want these are just small things which a lot of people think are just a waste of time but trust me with google ads every small thing matters this is not facebook where you're forcing your product or your video ad in front of somebody these people are coming to you so you want to make sure that you treat your guests right i mean if somebody came to your home as a guest of course you would want to make sure your home is neat and tidy everything is in place everything looks clean and so forth you want to be doing the same exact thing on your website side on the gmc side as well as the tags and the configurations but make sure all of these backend things are properly configured but let's say you have done all of these things and you're still not getting the results that you want what do you do exactly in that case this brings me now to the ad strategy side because now things might be a little bit more deeper there might be problems going on with the actual ads which you are running first thing that comes to mind is the campaign type what kind of campaign are you running are you running a general testing campaign following my strategies on my youtube channel or in my google ads mastery course that runs on maximize clicks or are you running like a manual cpc campaign with enhanced cpc or you might be feeling a little bit more courageous and now you're just running a target roas campaign in that case, you really want to make sure you're choosing the right campaign type. Of course, me personally, in my Google Ads Mastery course and my YouTube channel, as well as the Google Ads clients, which I personally handle for my agency, Euro Marketing, if you're doing over 30K in sales, and you want somebody to run your ads, just go onto my website at euromarketing.com and book a call with me to see if we're a good fit. But for these clients and everybody else in between, I always like to start with a maximize clicks campaign, especially if I'm running a standard shopping and if it's a brand new ad account. But nowadays I'm finding a lot more success just from the get go, starting with the smart shopping campaign, especially if this ad account or the store has been running ads and finding success with ads on Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, or whatever other advertising platform they may be using in that case smart shopping might be a more ideal way to go but otherwise always start with maximize clicks now for the actual settings and the back end stuff you want to be focusing a bit more on your bids because just because you start a maximize clicks campaign does not mean you're going to find the success you got to make sure your bid is not too low meaning 10 cents 12 cents 5 cents or not too high meaning anything above 50 cents in most cases a dollar that's way too high because get your bid wrong make it on either end of the spectrum and you risk yourself of being unprofitable for a very very long time of course if it's a very very low bid first of all you might be unprofitable but second you might not even end up spending a lot of your budget so you really have to get this right start right in the middle watch all my other videos if you're not sure what i'm even talking about but also countries targeted are you targeting a specific country with a very low search volume overall or are you targeting countries that are multiple countries and now your ads are kind of all over the place a lot of the times people forget to just check the country's target section and just target the united states instead they target all countries which is not the thing you should be doing always target one country per campaign but that is not the only issue you might also have issues with your keywords meaning you excluded too many keywords and now because there's only a limited number of products on your website since your keywords are all excluded the major ones at least your campaign really is unable to find more keywords to rank for so it's spending a very very little budget or if it is spending your entire budget or even overspending it might be spending the money on the wrong kind of keywords because at the end of the day google is a business it wants as much money as it can extract from you regardless of how it achieves that so of course you want to make sure that it achieves it in a positive way that influences you in a positive way as well otherwise google will end up showing your products to even the keywords that are barely similar to each other for example from my own store i used to sell dog necklaces cat necklaces and often i would see the keyword dog or the keyword cat getting ranked he's spending a lot of money in my campaigns of course google is an algorithm it doesn't really know that that is a bad keyword to be targeting but nonetheless that was what was getting shown and i was wasting a lot of money on that so of course you want to make sure that you exclude the right amount of keywords but don't overdo this same thing with audiences you only want to be remarketing with your audiences but don't overdo it with the kinds of audiences you have meaning don't have like 50 different audiences just have five to ten different ones retargeting mostly using the observation checkbox so always choose observation for the audiences 
But if you're doing all of this and you are still finding no good success with your campaigns, then your campaign results could definitely be influenced by your overall quality score. Meaning if you have a low quality score, you might be bidding high and you might not be really getting the desired sales as a result. Or if you have a high quality score, you might be bidding very low and still getting a very good return amount of sales, a very good ROAS and so forth. But you want to understand Quality score is determined by the landing page experience, meaning are people coming onto your website and just bouncing off or are they staying there for a long period of time? Is the CTR for your ads very high, meaning 1% and above, or is it very, very low at the bare minimum? Or is your CPC very high? Are you bidding competitively or is your bid too low or is your bid way too high? All of these things influence your quality score. So you always want to make sure that you are bidding just the right amount your ctrs are very good you're choosing the right images and your website is properly laid out because as i said a lot all these things influence your quality score which then influences the results of your ad but of course ad strategy is only part of the equation the next part of the equation are the actual products so what kind of products are you selling because trust me have a bad product and it doesn't matter if you spend a million dollars a day on ads you're not going to get results period so there are some kinds of products which are just products you want to stay away from number one type is the saturated product. If a product has over three to seven dropshippers selling that same exact product, you do not want to be selling that product, period. There are just way too many dropshippers, way too competitive. You're going to be bidding way too high. Your CTRs are going to be low, which is then going to influence your entire campaign, which you don't want to happen. So if it's too saturated, just forget about it. There's a million different products which are unsaturated that people have yet to find. So just go out and find those. Follow my strategies, both on my YouTube channel as well as my Google Ads Master Course. But in addition, is there enough keyword search volume? If you're barely getting 500 searches a month, just forget about getting sales for that product or forget about even having a decent amount of search volume that's just the reality with google ads again people come to you you don't force the ad to people so if people are coming to you there needs to be a decent amount of searches done monthly for that product ideally 20,000 to 25,000 monthly searches for all of the keywords combined but another major thing that influences this is the overall season if you try to sell an air conditioner in the winter months you are not going to find much success period Likewise, if you're trying to sell a heater during the hot summer months, you're not going to find a lot of success. So season plays a big role with the kind of results you get with your ads, with your products in general. So make sure to keep this in mind and just ask yourself, is the product I'm trying to sell, is it seasonal or should it be selling in every single month? And a quick search on the Google Ads Keyword Planner tool will let you know exactly what the kind of product that is but your ad is directly influenced by your product because of the landing page experience. So with landing page experience, I like to think of landing page experience mostly like a CTR because your CTR, if people are not clicking on your products, your overall quality score is going to diminish. And as a result, your results are also going to go down the hill very, very quickly. So if you get one thing right, forget about bidding very high, forget about having an amazing landing page experience. Of course, your landing page has to be decent, but one thing, that I always recommend you focus on is the CTR. If you have a low CTR, meaning below 1%, it's very easy to get that up. Just change your images, try to change your pricing, even try to change the main keywords you're using in the titles, and that should definitely help. But the kind of CTR you get with your product directly influences your ad, which directly influences the results that you get. But believe it or not, with the campaign as a whole, the right product in a wrong campaign is not the way to go. And the wrong product in the right campaign is also not the way to go. So what that means is a product and the campaign go hand in hand. You need to have a decent product, the right product going along with the right campaign, meaning the right settings and all of that stuff. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. You might as well send your money to me because you're going to end up burning that money anyways. So really trying to make sure that whatever setting you have within the campaign is the right setting. This is going to come based on experience, also based on watching other people who have done it like me on my YouTube channel or my videos. But again, really try to make sure you put the right product in the right campaign. And this is not rocket science. You want to have one general bid with a very good landing page with a very good CTR. And that should really help you start getting those sales. But now moving on to the final thing, which is the keywords. I believe keywords have a section of their own just because of how important they are. So again, as I mentioned earlier, irrelevant keywords could be one of the main reasons why you're not getting the desired success. Lack of keywords, meaning having too many exclusions, could be another reason. Or on the opposite end of the spectrum, having too many keywords within your descriptions and within your titles will also cause you to rank for too many keywords within your ads, which can lead to a downfall in your results overall. And 
you don't want to do something called keyword stuffing, which is very common where you just put each keyword more than three times. So if you have a keyword 3D printer, for example, you don't want to put that keyword more than three times within your description. If you put it like five times, 10 times, even that is called keyword stuffing that will lower your quality score. And that is known as black hat SEO, which can get your entire ad account suspended, which you never want to do. So for proper SEO techniques, just make sure that you only put it a maximum of three times. But another main reason why so many people fail to find good results is you just let unprofitable keywords run for too long. And I have found a very simple formula which works 99% of the time. If your profit margin is less than $30, just let it run until $10 spent. If it passes $10 spent with zero sales, kill it. Just let it die because you're going to find that whatever product you're selling, you have probably 500 to 1,000 keywords that you're ranking for just for that product. You definitely don't want to let every single keyword run for that profit margin because you're going to end up spending a lot of money. So keep it simple, $10 by for a product with less than $30 profit margins. For anything above $30 profit margins, wait until about $20 spent. If no sales, then just get rid of that keyword immediately. And these things alone can really help you improve the results that you're getting. But you want to combine everything I've mentioned in this video. Again, go back, watch this video again, and really look at it word for word and try to implement every single tip I've mentioned in this video. But if you're somebody who's kind of more on the level where you're already established doing 30K or more per month in sales and you want to kind of outsource Google ads, let somebody run it for you, go on to my website at euromarketing.com and book a call with my team to see if I can personally handle your ads for you. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.